Hi everybody, I'm Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot, as most of you know, and I hope um, that you will have a beautiful Christmas, um, New Year's Eve, sorry, Christmas has already been, I hope you've had a good time then as well. I hope you have a beautiful New Year's Eve and a happy New Year's Day. I'm pre-recording the dailies um, today, and I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, or I was a little bit late with your weekly reading because I've got them muddled up. I thought I'd already done them, but those were the romance readings. So I hope you enjoy all the readings, also the romance readings and this week's. Have a beautiful uh, uh, change from the old to the new, and I hope 2020 will bring you all that you wish, health, wealth and happiness, and even more than that. And I hope it's really going to be a super duper year. It's number four, stability, productivity. Um, what you have sown in 2019, you will reap this year. And remember, my belief is if you've done something wrong, it will come back threefold. If you've done something good, it will also come back threefold, more than you expect. So it's also a karma year. Take care and be blessed. I won't be going on uh, live, I think, on, uh, on uh, New Year's Day, as everybody is taking a day time out. So if I do, uh, you'll be notified if you subscribe and if you hit that bell. I still believe in miracles and I hope we can still make uh, 2020 members. There are 5,000 members not subscribed yet. So please join the family and uh, hit that subscribe button, please, and leave your reactions below. And if you want the extended reading, then today is the last, or yesterday was the last day. It will be, I might extend it just for one day, 1st of Je January, so at 12 o'clock tonight. Uh, the special offer will be taken off the uh, YouTube channel and then it's past it. So you can pay now and book later. I'll give you a code and then you can send me the code um, and then you can have the free reading. I love you all. Take care and be blessed. Now on to the readings. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up and to share with family and friends so that we might yet be able to get 2020, I still believe in miracles. Ciao, ciao. Hi Scorpio, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 30th to the 5th of January 2020. And here we go. You've got the cards on the table. Oh, I love it. Just putting the last cards out, sorry to delay. <clears throat> Been busy all day, all day yesterday and today with readings. Okay, well, I hope you are enjoying yourself. And to start off with, you've got one of the most beautiful cups in the uh, card in the cup. Card, I'm getting st stumbling over my words now, sorry. One of the most positive cards in the deck. You've got the Ten of Cups. You're coming to a new beginning. You're leaving an old, tiring face behind. Happy families. This could be uh, that you are reuniting with family and friends on Monday um, and or might be extending the family. There might be a little one on the way. Okay, beautiful. You might have had a windfall. You might have won the lottery on New Year's Day if that is happening in your country. Usually all over the world that I know of are you uh, holding lottery on the 31st and the 1st of January. And then you have uh, clouds. There might have been disagreements and arguments uh, in the family, um, but that's short-lived because after rain comes sunshine. You can see the sunshine already breaking through. Okay, you have made up. Okay, and in the middle of the week, we've got this new beginning. Jump in the deep end. Uh, it's a naught. It's a new beginning because it's the fall. And take that leap of faith in love. 
Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. You might be getting married. You might be, you might have got pregnant and there was disagreements about it, but you've decided to uh, compromise and carry on and jump in the deep end. Forget about engagement, getting married straight away. Um, straight away because it's the north. So within this month, I think you might be getting married pretty quick. It might bring you uh, sleepless nights as we have the um, nine of swords here, or perhaps you have had sleepless nights because you found out that you're pregnant and your partner didn't. Okay, but he's a good, good, faithful and loyal friend. You've got the dog. That is also the ten of hearts, the ten of cups. A loyal, trusty friend. Ooh, that's nice. It's a, I can just feel your relief. You've come through the walls and you've had sleepless nights. How am I going to tell him? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Or perhaps your parents, the grandmother and the grandfather. But don't worry, they are good people because the hearts are fluttering everywhere. Ten here, ten there, the heart here. Oh, you're so welcome. The extension in the family is welcome. It was unexpected. Perhaps if this reading doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. But this is such a beautiful reading. It is after arguments, people are coming together. Love is in the air. Whether it is um, already there and you had an argument and you're getting together and starting again, or whether it's a new love and carrying on. Awesome. Something did uh, happen unexpectedly. Perhaps you were moving home because this can also mean moving home because you're extending the family and it became very unexpected and you had sleepless nights about it because you might have found out earlier in December that you were pregnant and hoping for a new home, um, but it didn't happen. So you might move away from parents or uh, parents-in-law or from a flat into a house, or from your parents-in-law into an apartment. Because high-rise, this is what I'm seeing. There will be, um, you'll be good in working groups, so this will get done with lots of helping hands. Start delegating, that's what I always say with this card, the fish. You can work well in groups, but don't be the one that is doing everything. Start delegating. Say no. Um, if you're pregnant, then you'll have to say no because you can't lift. Don't do that. Okay? Learn to say no. And there's luck in business and at work. Okay, perhaps that could be it, that you're worried that you would be fired. But it's all right. It will talk through. It might come as a bomb to them and to you, but it's okay. Because, and here we've got the marriage card again, the Four of Staves. Your friendship, your relationship is solid as a house, as solid as the four corners of a house, like the Four of Wands represent. And this is the canopy, okay? It's like a house, but and you've got the castle here. Again, a high rise, so you might be moving to high rise. If this is not your wedding, then you might be invited to the wedding or any other celebrations. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Scorpio. Now, we've got the angel card. The answer there is also romance. Romance and love is definitely in the air. Okay, and you've got the apricot feather, angel feather. And the apricot angel feather says, angel of kindness. The angels applaud the acts of kindness that you perform regularly for others and your thoughtful, caring communication, communicating style. Now, what did I say? For others, you are always doing it. Don't let everybody say, can you do this? Can you do that? No, think of yourself now first, okay? You've got big moments ahead of you. 
the apricot angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of kindness. The angels have called on you to become an earth angel of kindness. This is an angelic assignment only offered to those who have shown beautiful caring qualities previously. The angels ask that you extend your natural caring ways to now include acts of kindness that are performed quietly and anonymously. When you give without the expectation of reward, your energy levels are elevated and a blissful state surrounds you. The angels would like to remind you that you enrich the lives of others. Like I said, arguments are short-lived. You are welcome into the fold. Note, angels work quietly, gently and with unconditional love. The affirmation that you can use is, I am an angel of kindness. I am able to give without expectation of reward. I perform acts of kindness for others, quietly and anonymously. Wow, this reading has really come together. Okay, Scorpio, I know you've had some uh, tough cards this year, uh, but this really ends the year beautifully, positively. If it is not a child uh, in physical form, it could be a project, a business, okay, your own business. And you'll have luck in that. Awesome. Take that leap of faith and have a partner alongside you. You will. It will be a fantastic partnership, whether in marriage or in work. I think this is an awesome reading. Okay, my darling, I hope you enjoy um, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I am going live tonight. So take care and be blessed. If I don't see you in the live tonight, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Be blessed.